Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm from tipsforpc.com. Um, I'm just going to show you how to remotely connect to a computer in your house. So if you have a computer and you're all on the same network and you all share the same internet connection, um, basically you can sit on another computer, just say a laptop in your lounge room, and you can actually be working on the computer in your office okay okay so what we need to connect um, well first we need to find how to open this box up so if you were in Windows Vista you would go down to the start menu and you would go to all programs and then you would go to accessories and you would look in here and it says remote desktop connection now if you were using Windows XP I think it was under communication a heading communication um, and then it remote desktop was in there anyway so we click on that okay and this box opens up now it doesn't come up with details you need to know those details already now what happens is I want to connect to another computer but I have already set it up to accept a connection okay so this is what I did on the other computer I'm going to show you I went to the control panel wherever that is there it is control panel then I went to system double clicked on it and this is the um, information about the computer now what I did is I pressed on advanced system settings and then this box came up now I want to go to the remote tab this is the system properties box by the way okay so now I want to press on remote and I actually ticked this box allow remote assistance connections to this computer okay and you can press on this as well and it also says tick the box allow this computer to be controlled remotely okay so that's what I'm actually going to do alright so everything else is fine we press OK and this is good so we press OK as well now the other thing is that I need to know the IP address of the computer that I'm going to connect to. Now this is what I did when I was on the other computer. I double clicked I clicked on this down here and pressed on the network and sharing center just to find the IP address okay now then I pressed view status and then I pressed details okay now this here 192.168.0.4 is the IP address of the computer that I'm on now but when I was on the other computer it had a 3 there okay so the other computer is number 3 and this one's number 4 so now I'm going to close it and close that and close the network and sharing center and now I've got my remote de desktop connection here now, remember that the other computer was 3, and the one I'm on is 4, okay? And also, the username on there is MITS. Now, what I'm going to do is press on this to show you how I filled it out. Okay, so what I did is I typed that number in there, okay? You can type any number you like in there, okay? See, I can change it to 4, but that's not going to be okay because this computer is number 4. So I change it back to three. Now I just write mitts in there, okay? And then I went down the bottom and pressed connect. Okay, now it says mitts, and there's the little icon that the actual computer has. And I just type in the password and press OK. Okay, now it's taken me to the other computer and it's actually doing scan disk on the other computer okay now 
see here's the start menu and everything of the other computer that I'm on now now over here I'm going to show you if I click on here and go to the network and sharing center and then press view status and details see I'm on number three now okay I'm on computer three now I can go and open up um, a, go to my documents say let's go to my documents and open up anything I like just a um, a word document I'll just choose one okay we'll open that up and this is all on the other computer and now I can edit it okay see and type and everything and then when I save it it's actually saving on the computer on the other computer okay so basically I can do anything I like okay um, now here's the little panel up here now this is where I can close it minimize it or make it bigger now what I'm going to do is minimize it so what it does then is it takes me back to the other computer the main computer that it was on and there's the remote desktop connection in the taskbar okay now if I want to get it back I just press on it and I'm back on the other computer simple as that all right um, the other thing that you do need is to make sure that the other computer has a password to get in so the other computer that I remote desktop to has a password and I know it and I can get in easily all right Thanks for watching.